Hi, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. We're still working on cleaning passive machines. Jack has already shown you in two videos some details about cleaning and lubricating the locks. Now let's look at cleaning the needles and the pushers, having removed them all from the needle bed. One of the things that we passive users frequently do, and I personally should do it more frequently, is take all the needles and all the pushers out and then you can manually clean the needle channels and separately clean the needles and the pushers and put it back in and that makes an enormous difference. We soak in Marvel Mystery Oil. All of these things have just come out of the Marvel Mystery Oil bath but I saved these two out. This one wasn't all that dirty and the crud was loosened and I scrubbed it with my brush and it's beautiful. Now here is the worst before picture I've seen. All this is, though this one has been soaked just as long, it's in dire need of a scrubbing. It's possible this one won't get nice enough to go back in the machine, but we'll see. Here is the needle, the after picture. It came clean. So with a little bit of work, which I'm going to show you how to do in a second, you can be amazingly effective at getting a deeply cruddy needle back to work. Here we go. This pile of needles and pushers is just out of a bath in Marvel Mystery Oil. So they've been deep cleaned, but they still need some hand finishing. On the glue cloth are some that have been thoroughly cleaned and are ready to go back in the machine. And I'm going to show you how to get from here to there. Although these have been soaked and all the dirt is loose, not all of it is gone. See these discolored spots? This is a brass brush, brass bristles. Where do we get these, Jack? Uh, you can get them <coughs> at most automotive stores. It is for cleaning. And what we have is a little bit of residue that didn't soak off some of these things. Let me show you. See this crud hanging on? We don't want to put this back in the machine because it will start to gum up immediately. So we need it off, but the Marvel Mystery Oil has loosened it, so now scrubbing it off with the brass brush is very simple. So we're going to scrub it, scrub it to dirt with this brass brush. Brass because it's softer than steel and it won't damage the steel, but it's much, much stronger than the toothbrush that we would otherwise be using and it so it goes much much faster. These blue things are shop towels which are easily available in rolls at the auto parts store. They're not very expensive and they're far superior to paper towels because they don't leave any lint on your project. You may not be able to get every speck of discoloration due to age off but if it feels perfectly smooth to your finger, that's okay. As long as you can feel the slightest grit or thick spot or slow spot as you slide across it, there really is crud that can come off. And it should because the locks will run across much more smoothly if they don't have any resistance. Let me add a single fold of that shop towel will also act as a guide. It will snag on anything that's on the surface if you move it very slowly in your fingers. Your fingers may not be sensitive enough. Mine are callous. See. But it'll feel, oh, I feel it. Yeah, I feel it'll it. feel the rough places. It sure does. I can usually feel it with my fingers from great familiarity with knitting. And although my fingers are somewhat callous from this sort of thing, not maybe as much as Jack's, as a professional mechanic for years and a guitar player, he has significant calluses. Now this is a lot of needles and pushers and I'll be at this for a while, but it's very, very worthwhile.